Children were very excited. Uh, the staff is excited. It, it just reaffirms our commitment to ensure that we are dynamically educating the children of this community. I really like working in my art class now. I actually like, yeah, got the new chairs with the nice smooth tables. Yes, it's extra nice. I really think people will come to school more because they like, um, we got new stuff, why not come to school? That's like you having new clothes, why not wear? I think about that for me as a kid, you know, football was way, my way to express myself, you know, and it was mine. And kids want something that's theirs, that they can hold on to, and now with the renovations and everything, man, hopefully all of them can grab hold to something, you know, that make them want to come to school, be positive, and encourage their, their classmates to be good. Art studio desk, so they it feels very much like a professional artist studio where kids can stand and draw, or they can sit. It gives them a variety of ways to work. Um, new chairs, new cabinets, um, new whiteboards, all of those things that help as a teacher to make instruction a little easier and a little more clear. So is this is like her home room, or is this? This like, is her home. This no, room. well, we switch classes like yeah. every sixty minutes or something. So she has a feature in in, 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 in tour guiding and, and a bunch of other stuff. She's only in eleventh grade, so the sky's the limit. Yeah. But I uh, know everything was great. Thank you for thank taking you, me around the school. Thank you, Mr. Um, yes, ma'am. I'm proud of you. I don't thank even you. know you, but I'm proud of you. <laughs> A little bit of what you told me, there were some rough patches, mm -hmm. but you know, you're on the right track now. And just keep striving. Seriously, you. like, you know, what, yeah, exactly. whatever you want to do, you can do it. What I feel is that the young people going to this school are going to take a great deal of pride because of all the work that has been done in this building. Did you not tell me that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, this is our future. And when young people can feel the investment walking through the halls, when young people can feel that we care about them walking through their halls, when they can walk into their classrooms and see classrooms that rival others across the, across the country and across our state, it makes them feel proud as well. So thank you for that welcoming response. I love it. I told the mayor that since like all the, all the stuff is rebuilt and everything, kids feel safe and they will have a better learning environment because all the new construction and the new technology that we got in each classroom and the new tables and everything. And we want to make a difference. And what you see here today is the difference that the mayor referenced. It's the difference of what happens when community leaders from all walks of life, right, come in and say, we want to signal to our young people that they are important to us. So part of, part of you know, quote unquote, underachieving or not reaching your potential, a lot of it has to do with self-esteem and self-worth. If, if you think nobody cares about you or nobody um, thinks you can, you can accomplish certain things, sometimes people don't. By investing, whether it's your funds or your time or a, a kind word of encouragement, all those things I think kids can build on in order to achieve what they need to achieve ed in education.